So I've been renting the Polestar for um, a couple weeks now. Uh, I've got a Tesla Model 3 that's being repainted. So I wanted to go over a couple of things in this video that I do like and that I don't like about the Polestar and what can be done to improve. Um, well, I mean, the major thing that I like is the fact that it drives great. The the um, regen braking, the one one pedal driving, is definitely stronger than Tesla's, um, and it just launches you forward when you take your foot off the accelerator. Um, I like that. Some people might hate that. Uh, the range assistant here is kind of cool. Um, it's a little bit more in depth than the Tesla the Tesla one. Uh, the way the car drives is, is great. I mean, there's not there's not very much body roll. It's uh, it handles pretty well. Um, it's uh, overall as a as a driving car, it's it's pretty good. Um, the now this car has has small wins, um, like what I just mentioned. They've got these little like seat extender things on the on the seats. They're in the trunk, which I don't have a picture of. Um, there's a thing that can raise up that can hold your groceries. The the uh, the uh, brakes are Brembo, which is kind of neat, which is not common for something like this. Uh, overall, though, I I definitely feel like this car is a is not worth the price that they ask. Uh, this car feels like a thirty thousand dollar car. If not, maybe less. I mean, it. The interior is cheap. Uh, it scratches really easily, and uh, there's not really much to it. Um, I'll flip the camera so you can see around. Um, yeah, totally doing this whole driving. Uh, um, interior is nothing crazy. The seats, the seat belts are kind of cool though. Um, the roof definitely needs a little bit more, uh, more tint. Um, it's a little bit. A little bit light. The actually, we're coming back to the things I do like. The one of the the safety features. Um, I had someone turning in front of me, and I I didn't brake quickly enough. I would have broke. I would have uh, hit the brakes last second, and it hit the brakes on the early warning, and it actually cinched down the seatbelt, like electronically pulled it in, and like held held us in while it hit the brakes. And that was kind of cool, as opposed to just randomly slamming on the brakes and scaring the crap out of you. Um, now, onto the things I don't like. It is it is definitely, like I said, it is cheap feeling. It doesn't feel like a, the right price point. The It feels cramped in here. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot of room. This, this center console is huge. Like, it's just obnoxious. Uh, the there's, there's absolutely no place to put your phone. There, there's wireless charging down here, but it's hot and it's in the sun and it wirelessly charges with your phone facing the window, which is really stupid in Arizona. So, I mean, I know that obviously the car's not built for specific states, but still kind of a dumb, dumb placement. Uh, only one charging port that I can see, or well two, I guess technically up here. I didn't see any, uh, any um, AC or DC outlet. Uh, I didn't Google for it, so I didn't really look too hard, but if there is one, it's not in a, it's not in a convenient place. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, the yeah, oh yeah. So uh, yeah, on the on the spot of holding your phone. So I normally use a cup holder, phone holder. Well, the cup holder is way back here. Uh, you can't really. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but I'm. I mean, my arm is pretty far back. If I put my phone here. It's like it's so far to the so far to my right. I actually have to look right to like see the screen. Um, now I know you're not supposed to be looking at your phone while you're driving. Well, I'm a bad example right now because I'm driving while I'm holding my phone. Um, but I mean, you're, we live in a world where everyone's going to be on their phone and may as well make it safe and make it in the, make it convenient for them to be able to put their phone somewhere, um, where that it's at least accessible if a call needs to be answered or, um, if for some reason they have to look at it. Uh, ideally the cup holder should be closer, like up here somewhere, even not counting the phone holder. Like it's just awkward to have to reach here that far for a drink. Um, having a water bottle there is just, uh, is just like, ow, it hurts my arm. <laughs> uh, or like if you have, if you actually have an open drink, I mean, it's, it's right in the way you actually hit, you'll hit it. And I almost spilled a, I almost spilled a drink the other day with family in the car. Um, 
yeah, so just not not very well thought out in that aspect. Uh, that's, I think those are the biggest things. Um, I mean, yeah, but it's a, like I said, a good car seems like it, it has, it has potential. Uh, the range is, the range has been pretty much on point. Um, charging's relatively quick. Uh, I get about 150 kilowatt hours, um, per, I don't remember what the per was, but yeah, it, it charges relatively quick. It charges about, a, I think about half or half the speed of the three. Um, and I mean, the charging networks are kind of meh. Uh, they still haven't been, they're still not as efficient as the, just the superchargers, but uh, that's something to consider depending on where you live and the fact that you're going to have to have a bunch of different accounts to to, to charge up quickly uh, on a road trip or something like that. I spoke to some guy who was from, who took a road trip in a Polestar from California and they said that it added three hours to their drive, which is kind of ridiculous. You get to some of these charging stations and they're, um, they're like completely like completely dead or like you might have two two chargers that work out of out of five which is just silly i mean i know this is not related to specifically specifically to the polestar but it's something to consider when you're buying something that's not a tesla or that um may not charge like quickly uh, but yeah overall i mean overall it's it does it does a good does a decent job there i didn't have to wait too long to get it charged back up to where i wanted um but yeah Keep these in mind, take it with a grain of salt, drive one yourself, and uh, we'll all be curious to hear what you think in comments, or uh, if, uh, if, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Have a good one.